So we've learned that music has long and short sounds. But I'm sure you're aware that music also has higher and lower sounds. The pitch of a note tells us how high or low that note is. We show pitch by using a stave, a group of five lines and four spaces. Notes can be written on any line or in any space. Here's what notes look like when they're on the lines. And here's what they look like when they're in the spaces in between the lines. If we want to draw a note on a line, we need to make sure that the line goes straight through the center of the note head, like an arrow going through a person's head. This is correct. These are wrong. Same goes for notes in the spaces. They sit in between two neighboring lines, just touching them, but never overlapping them. Again, this is a beautiful looking note. These, well, not so much. Basically, be neat when you're drawing notes, or else there will be much confusion. Now, on its own, the stave doesn't really mean anything. We need to add in a clef. The treble clef, or G clef, is a big squiggly liney thing that tells us what each of the lines and spaces are called. High pitched instruments use the treble clef, like the violin, the flute, or the right hand of the piano. The easiest way to figure out how to read the notes on the treble stave is to use two catchy rhymes. For notes that are on the lines, we need to use the rhyme Eddie's green boots don't fit. Notes in the spaces are easy, they just spell face. Okay, so let's figure out the pitch name of this note. It's on a line, so we should use the Eddie's green boots don't fit rhyme. Starting at the bottom line, we say Eddie's green boots don't fit. F for fit, so our note is called F. Super! Let's do another one. This time the note is in a space, so we should use the face rhyme. Again, starting at the bottom space we go F, A, and we don't need to go any further, our note is an A. Easy! Last thing I want to show you before I go is how to draw the treble clef. It looks like a ridiculously complicated thing to draw, but it's actually quite easy. Starting on the second line, we curve up to meet the middle line and curve back down to touch the bottom line. We then go across, make a little loop, go straight through the middle here and finish it all off with a little hook. Easy! Remember, the treble clef is also called the G clef. That's because when we place it on the stave, it gives the name G to the line where the sign starts. One perfect looking treble clef, done. Music quiz! What's the pitch name of this note? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, happy music theorying everyone. It lasts for one quarter the length of a semi-brief and gets one count. Think of it like this. Four counts, two counts and one count. Easy. With the counting down, let's look at the time signature at the beginning of the tune. This particular time signature is called 4-4. Four, four. For now, let's forget about the bottom number and focus on the more important top number. 